Hear that? Ah, the sound of sausages sizzling. Sizzling on a barbecue. Omac sausages. Got another, got another kilo tonight to just throw on there and cook those while I'm out in the bar here watching some guy fly around the world and do things that I'd love to do. Yeah. I'm going to work. Anyway, let's get into a beer review. Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Reviews with the Beer Sage. Well, yeah, I've got the got the snailers on the on the barbie. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to those because they are phenomenal. Uh, so yeah, get your snailers from Omax. It was great. Not sponsored. Not sponsored at all. All right, here we go. Now, so uh, maybe a week ago, a couple of weeks ago, I picked up a bloody um, a brew from a crowd called Mean Doses mean doses from down in the, the capital Wellington Wellington uh, it was was a Gallagher was what it was called Gallagher and it was like you know the hark back to the the bloody spacey parlor um, this one I found today mean doses mean juice mean juice mean juice some people say they don't like hazy pale owls what they reckon they look weird or that that massive fruit flavors are too intense. Some people say there's no accounting for taste. Well, there are, I guess, there are people who don't like hazy IPAs. They're not my friends. Well, some of them are, some of them are. Both of these groups of people are wrong. Hazy New England style pale ales are awesome. There is accounting for taste. No, I, I agree. I I love a hazy IPA. I love a hazy pale ale. I love a hey, I love the haze. Uh, so here we go, mean doses. Oi! Cut it out! Cut it out! Mean doses. Dean and Kerry were just regular people when they decided to throw caution to the wind in 2018. They run mean doses and make very good beers like this one. Flying away on a wing and a prayer, who could who could it be? Believe it or not, it's just Dean and Kerry. Um, yeah, greatest American hero. Um, so I like the fact that they like throw these little curveballs. Every well, that one's on the, every can, but they throw these curveballs back, back to the eighties. Hey, Gallagher, eighties. Greatest American hero, eighties. Mean juice. Um, you could say that that's probably Miami Vice. Palm trees. Miami Vice. Another 80s track. Okay. But the fucking 80s were cool, weren't they? For those of you who are alive in the 80s. <sighs> the 80s. Anyway, beers. Alright, we're going to chuck this in the glass. Now, this is a. I haven't told you because I've been fucking waffling. This is a 440, as you probably can tell. It's a 5.7. It's a 5.7. It's a 5.7. The dogs have got some neighbours. And the neighbours have dogs. Two huskies that sit at the fence and just talk all day to my dogs who don't understand them because they're from another country. Look at that. Let's have a sniff of this. This is going to be good. Right. That smells so good. What am I getting out of that? Oh, I'm getting that tooty fruity type smell. A little bit of, um, sort of getting a marzipan sort of smell. Yeah, a little bit of a marzipan smell there. Damn it, dogs. Yeah. Anyway, marzipan. It's kind of an almondy sort of smell. I don't know how I get that. They sound like they're savaging a fucking rabbit over there. But they're not. Anyway. Oh. Well, that is amazing. It's got some bitterness there. And that bitterness 
Uh, there's like it's not sweet. There's no sweetness, so it's not a it's not a fruity fruity pale ale. It's got some really nice bitterness right through there, but it is. When I say it's not juicy, it's it's not um, it's not it hasn't got that sweet fruit sort of flavour that you get from some of these big hazies. This is fucking great. It's got a um, um, it's got a um, it's got a great aftertaste. It feels full bodied, like tastes like the taste is full bodied. The um, fucking dogs. Oi! Oi! Cut it out! Fuck's sake! Um, pardon me. But the the malt flavours is there in the background, um, and the hops are just there, just there for flavour. That would be an amazing drink to have on um, like a real hot fucking day, like a super hot day, sitting in the sun, sun beating down, drinking that. It would be awesome. Um, there you go. Mean juice. Mean juice. Mean juice from Mean Doses. 5.7, 440. Cost me. Gonna say 1099, I don't know. It was about that. From uh Lickerland. So yeah, the the selection's getting good and I'm glad we're getting these um some of these beers from sort of all over the place. Mean juices. Mean juices from mean doses in Wellington. There you go, there's uh another beer review from the beer search.